Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will learn how to install and use TNC microcontrollers and boards in Arduino, IDE and Linux Ubuntu. That is, we will learn how to install TNC Duino. The idea and motivation for creating this tutorial is to use Arduino IDE, where IDE stands for the Integrated Development Environment, to program TNC boards. This greatly simplifies programming of TNC boards, since we can use Arduino looking functions to program TNC boards. Before watching this video tutorial, you should watch my previous video tutorial explaining how to install Arduino in Linux. That is, you should first install Arduino before watching this video tutorial. A link to that tutorial is given in the description below this video. Under the assumption that you have properly installed Arduino, you should see Arduino shortcut if you click over here and if you type Arduino in this search menu. Start Arduino by clicking on this shortcut. And here it is. Okay. The next step is to go to this web page, that is to the official web page of TNC, and to copy this link. So, select this link, do the right click and copy. Next, go back to Arduino, click on File, click on Preferences and over here paste the link. And click on OK. And you will see a message over here. Next, we need to download the special file describing the UDEV rules and we need to copy this file to the proper location. So where is this file located? Go to this web page, then scroll down and over here you can see Linux UDEV rules. Do the right click and save link as. Then this will actually save the file to our downloads folder and this is the name of the file. Don't change anything and click on save. Now, if you click over here and if you click on the downloads folder, you will see the file. You can open this file and you can see what's written over here. This file will make sure that we can properly use the USB port to which our TNC is attached. Okay. The next step is to copy this file to the proper location. For that purpose, open a terminal window. And in the terminal window, you need to type the following. This command will copy the file 00-tnc.rules to this folder, etc udev rules.d. Enter your password. Then let's make sure that the file is copied. Type this and then let's list the content of this folder. And over here you should see the file. OK, let's continue. Close the previous session of Arduino. And let's start Arduino once more. Click over here, type Arduino, and start Arduino. And let's continue. Okay, make sure that your board is attached to the USB port. Now over here, click select other boards and port, and search for your board. Tin C, and select your board. In my case, I'm using TNC 4.1. Here it is. TNC is attached to this board and click OK. OK. And over here, click on Yes. This will install TNC version 1.59 core for the particular board. Click on Yes. And you will see this menu. Downloading, compiling, and this will take some time processing, etc. Perfect. Next, let's write a simple Hello World program. Here it is. What do I do over here? I'm using the classical Arduino functions. First of all, I'm starting the serial. Here's my 
baud rate, then in this void loop, I will print the message. Hello world. Okay, next, let's upload this code. To upload this code, click on tools. First of all, select this port. Then make sure that the proper board is selected and verify the code. Okay, now you will see this nice program that's automatically started. I will explain this program later on in future tutorials. And then let's upload the code. Done compiling, uploading, done uploading. Okay, so let's see the effect. Click on tools, then click on serial monitor and voila, here it is. Hello world. Let's change this command. Let's, for example, do this. This is TNC 4.1 serial monitor. Okay, let's now repeat the whole procedure. Verify. Upload. And done uploading. And here's our serial monitor. And we can see that the message is changed. This means that we have properly installed TNC 4.1 in Arduino. And this means that we can use Arduino to code TNC 4.1 board. Of course, everything explained in this video tutorial can be used for other TNC boards. Next. Let's test our TNC and the integration of TNC with Arduino by running some other examples. I closed the original sketch, so I will need to open Arduino again. Type here Arduino. And then again, let's select our board. Here is TNC. Make sure that the port is properly selected and that the board is properly selected. Then click on File, click on Examples, and over here you will find all the TNC examples, which are very instructive. Click here on Tutorial 1 and click on Blink. Make sure that this window is closed. So what is this? This is the classical Blink example. What will happen over here? We will blink an internal LED with a period of one second. Over here, you can see that for TNC3.x, the internal LED is on pin 13. This is the same case for TNC4.1. That is, you don't need to change anything. For other boards, you might have to change this. For example, for TNC++ 2.0, pin is 6, and for TNC2.0, the pin is in on 11. Okay, here in the void setup function, we are saying that LED pin should be the output. And here is our loop. First, we do digital write. We write to LED pin high voltage. Then we wait for one second. Then we write low voltage. Then again, we wait for one second. And this loop is constantly repeated. In practice, this loop will create our LED blinking. That is, the LED will blink with a period of one second. Again, make sure that the proper board is selected. Make sure that the port is selected. And make sure that the board is selected over here. Okay, let's verify the code. And let's upload the code. Done compiling, uploading and done uploading. Now, if you look at your board, you will see that LED is blinking with a period of one second. Okay, that's all for today.